Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Destiny the Taken King. In this video, I'll be showing you 14 of the new dead ghosts available in this DLC. This video does not include the three that are available in Crota's End Raid that were added in Destiny 2.0. Now, some of these dead ghosts are available in only the Taken King DLC missions, while others are accessible through some older missions that were originally available in the original Destiny. Now, I'll be kind of commentating making commentary on all of these ghosts as I get them. The first three are on the Phobos mission. I believe the mission's called the Coming War. All three of them are in this mission. I believe it, the only way to access them is through this mission. At the very beginning of the mission, right as you come forward, hook around to the right hand side, fly up here. You might need to, it's a little tricky to get up here, but once you do, you're gonna just wanna jump into that ghost and grab it. You can't actually stand up where that ghost is. You'll need to kind of grab it as you hover. Now, this next Ghost Fragment, Cabal 4, is again in the Phobos mission, The Coming War. You'll come through this section with some windows up a kind of spiral ramp, uh, and eventually you'll see a door in front of you with some of the black holes that are coming through, and you'll see that there is a large Cabal uh, enemy that dies in front of you, and if you look right here behind this guy, it's really hard to see, but there is a dead ghost underneath a metal plate right there. You'll want to pick that up. Now the next one is a little bit later on in the mission. This is once we come outside after defeating one of the kind of minor bosses in the level. You'll be on this uh, high area and you'll need to jump down and then across to continue the mission. But before we do that, you'll want to jump down, turn around, and look underneath where we came from. You'll notice that there's a metal beam with a curve to the left. And there's actually a dead ghost right on the corner where the two beams kind of meet. Now you can actually get up there and stay up there with the dead ghost. I'll show you how to do that. But in this video, I just grabbed it as I was hovering near it. I'll show you right here, the jump is possible. You can make the jump in one smooth go, just like this, if you so want to. Um, so you'll want to keep that in mind. That was, I believe, I forget what the actual ghost fragment was called itself. Now the next three are on the Earth Mission Cade's stash. I believe this one, which is Legends of Saint 14, you can get via patrol mode now that it's opened up a bit via the Devil's Lair. But uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'll be showing you it during the mission. Again, you might be able to get it through patrol or by other means, but there are more ghosts in this mission later on that you'll probably want to get anyways. So I recommend just grabbing the mission. As soon as you come through the kind of sewage bunker area, you'll come right here, right before the elevators. You want to jump up into this metal grating and you'll notice that there's a power box kind of hovering above you. Pick up the dead ghost right there. Now right after that you'll enter in an elevator that'll take you to the top of the spire. As soon as you exit the elevator you can get Ghost Fragment Old Russia 3. By jumping up to the very top of this area where you would be going anyways to complete your mission objective. And then you'll notice that there is two large spires. There's a shorter spire and a taller spire. At the very top of the slightly uh, shorter spire, you'll notice that there is a dead ghost that I just shot right there. To get onto it, you'll want to jump on this beam. From this beam, jump on. From the beam, jump onto the pole here, and then you'll jump onto the pole directly in front of you, and then you'll jump onto the even highest pole right in front of you. You can land on this pole, or you can grab the dead ghost as you're jumping or hovering near it. Completely up to you. You'll obviously grab it and uh, get the ghost fragment. The last one in this mission is kind of near the very end. Feel free to take out the boss, but don't trigger the last little uh, scanning object bit in order to, that'll actually kind of end the mission. So you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to just go on to the left here from where we entered the room. And on top of this, these metal beams, you'll notice that there's a dead ghost just a little bit off to the left from the center. Jump down, land on this beam and revive the dead ghost. You might die if you fall off the beam, so be careful. You can also walk across this beam from a different area if it's more comfortable for you than jumping. Now the next four are on the Earth Strike Fallen Saber. This is a new strike and I believe this first one is available by playing a different mission that was originally available in the game. But I'm just going to be showing them all through the Fallen Saber Strike. As soon as you enter the mine, you'll be following down the mine and right before we kind of go through the mine and enter in the kind of construction constructed area rather in front of me. Sorry, I'm having trouble today. A little bit tired from editing all these videos. Uh, right kind of behind you to your left as you're facing that door that continues on through the mission, you'll find a dead ghost right up on these rocks and you can kind of snuggle in between the rocks to kind of find it better. 
a little bit later on in the mission in same we're still in the mine you'll come through this section of the map with the electricity beams that run through the ground and what you're going to want to do here is dodge the beams a little bit better than i did i took way too much damage on my way there but you're going to want to go all the way to the front of the room kind of uh, opposite of where you entered the room feel free to turn off the electricity beams before you do this so you don't take as much damage as i did but what you want to do is actually get on top of this unit at the very back of the room right in the middle and you'll be able to find the dead ghost on the side if you turn the electricity off feel free to walk up to it from the side instead of jumping on top of it now we're in bunker war 4 and this is still in that same uh fallen strike uh we're gonna go up the uh into this room and you'll see a large angled window and on that angled window you'll have to jump up land on the window and then keep jumping your way up the window this can be a little bit difficult to get on your first try but keep at it and you'll end up on top of these lights on the left hand side when facing the lights behind the lights you'll find um, one of these dead ghosts now we're going to go back to that exact same area we were just in and instead of going up the window i'll show you where the window is as a reference uh, to my left here you can see the window just keep walking forward and keep progressing through the mission as you normally would up this ramp at the top of the ramp there is a left hand turn and then follow the turn and kind of near one of the beams, the first beams in the room, you notice this small metal grate. You can shoot at it or melee it in order to break it and then crawl into the cr cr small crawl space and pick up the dead ghost in order to progress. Now, this next one is in King's Watch and you can get this through, I believe you can get it through patrol mode. You can also get it through one of the DLC maps called The Ruling House and you can also get it through one of the new DLC, the Taken King maps that takes you through this area. But as soon as you enter King's Watch from the Rocket Yard, you'll want to go down, down these stairs, hook around and you'll notice that there's a small window above. You have to jump in that window and you'll have to kind of crouch and make sure you enter that window perfectly in order to get inside. Once you get inside, there's a dead ghost. There's a second dead ghost that was originally in a different video that is very close by. And there's a third dead ghost at the end of this area. Um, so that brings all that brings a total of three in that mission alone. Uh, next up, we're on Mars in the Black Garden. Now, you'll go here through a variety of missions that were in the DLC. You can get here through an old mission that takes you to the Valley of the Kings and then into the Black Garden. But uh, as soon as you come up the stairs into the kind of first opening of the Black Garden, you'll come into this open area and you'll want to jump onto here and look at this uh, large kind of tilted rock face. And you'll want to jump up into this little hole and land here. And you'll notice that there is a dead ghost. Again, there's a variety of levels, missions, and ways to get here. It's kind of up to you how you get here. This is in the Black Garden, kind of in that main area that you enter the Black Garden from. Next up, this one's called the Queen Aftermath. The best mission to do this on, I think this might even be the only mission, is Tenebris Tunnels. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's on Mars, and it's one of the later missions in the quest line of the Taken King. As soon as you come through the large gate that was bored through by the Vex, or the Taken rather, um, you'll hop up onto here, hop up, you'll need to double jump onto here, hook around the wall and watch out for the roof as you jump across this huge gap, landing on this ledge right here. Then you'll need to jump up across this small ledge and you can find this dead ghost here. So that's where we kind of entered the area and that's where the dead ghost is now. So this next one is a PS4 exclusive, unless you can glitch this area in the Xbox One. I'm not going to show you how to personally glitch it. I'd like to give a big thanks to There Can Only Be One for giving me this footage, as well as The Beard for helping me figure this out and kind of trying it on his own and providing me with this footage as well. You can check both of them out. I'll link them both in the description below for you can check them out on Twitter if you guys want. But basically in the echo chamber strike, you'll enter this big room. It might look different if you're actually in the strike. Uh, you'll see these kind of three small cylindrical beams that get gradually higher in height and you'll jump up on them and then on the wall you'll find a dead ghost. Thank you guys for watching. I will link the Crota's end raid ghost in the description below. There's also some more dead ghosts that are tied to like the raid and stuff that I'll also make a video for later on. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you then. Peace.